Savage cardio exercise for men. I hope you're having a great day, brother. As usual, let's get straight into it. Now, this is a basic exercise that I kind of came up with back when I was fighting mixed martial arts. It's not something brand new. Like I said, it's a basic exercise. So basically, it's a burpee without the push-up or a jump. Now, back when I was fighting mixed martial arts, we used to have a lot of sprawling drills and they were very good. Now, what I wanted to do was have that same type of cardio conditioning exercise, but work my speed and explosiveness even more. So instead of dropping my hips all the way to the ground, I would just kick my legs out. And that really, really helped with my speed. Now, like I said, it's something like a burpee, but I don't do the push-up. The reason why I don't do the push-up is because I don't want my chest, my shoulders, my triceps, that pump that you get when doing the push-up on the burpee to slow me down. I just want to go up and down non-stop. So I call it Gorilla Up Downs. This is what it looks like. As you can see, extremely basic. Up, down, up down i call them gorilla up downs because i kind of feel like a gorilla like if you ever watch videos of gorillas kind of just boping around they kind of move like this just up and down they kind of go on their knuckles whatever but like i said the reason why i do it like this is because i just want to focus on that pop up and down up and down mind you i did a bunch of training stuff before whacking this out this is a hundred gorilla up down straight you can do this in a tabata format that's my favorite 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest i'll normally go for 10 rounds of that not the normal eight round tabatas i like to go 10 rounds that makes it an even five minutes mixed martial arts your round is five minutes so 20 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest 10 rounds five minutes straight that right there will really burn so like i said you know the first 30 for me is easy i can kind of just air it out boom boom up down up down up down but once i get into that 40 50 range yes like my lungs are gasping for air and like i said because i'm not doing the push-up i'm not getting that pump in my chest my shoulders my triceps it's not slowing me down i can just go up and down up and down really focusing on that speed of kicking my legs out as you can see i don't drop my hips all the way down i just kind of kick it past the line when i stand up i kind of just tap my thighs because it's all about for me that reaction speed once i come up i don't stand fully up i don't have any break periods when you're doing sprawling drills sometimes when you get tired you'll drop your hip all the way to the ground and you'll kind of just rest there then you'll kind of pop back up when you just kick your legs back like this and you just boop, pop it straight back up, there is no rest. Same thing when you stand up. I'm not standing straight up. I'm just tapping my thighs. I don't really stand all the way up like a CrossFit burpee. I don't stand all the way up, push my hips out because that's a time where you can rest. I just kind of just tap my thighs and go straight back down. When you're whacking it straight out like this, especially when you're doing 100 straight, your lower back and hamstrings can start to feel a little burned and it reminds me of just doing hill sprints kind of the same concept when you really want to work crazy cardio conditioning you're gonna have to involve your legs no matter what you do <laughs> jumping rope sprinting hill sprints jogging even when you do battle rope stuff you're kind of basing on your legs and you're using your legs to move the ropes back and forth back and forth if you really want to get a good cardio work understand you're going to be moving your legs because that's the biggest part of your body. And once you start moving your legs, especially like this, up, back, up, back, it's really going to have to get some oxygen to that lower part of your body. And that's really going to open up your lungs. So same thing, 100 straight. For those of you that don't like to go running, do not have space to jump rope, don't have a punching bag, don't know what to do when you're shadow boxing. This exercise right here, Gorilla Up Downs, are savage especially if you just do 100 straight for me the main focus is just to go non-stop i don't even know how much i did i think i did like 100 but i feel like i miscounted so i just did like an extra 23 now that is a basic savage cardio workout for men if you don't have room or can't shadow box no excuses man just always remember train hard and be kind